This video is on single replacement and double replacement reactions. So all of our chemical reactions relate back to Dalton's atomic theory. And Dalton's law said that chemical reactions occur when atoms are rearranged. These are two examples of reactions where atoms get rearranged. In a single replacement reaction, abbreviated as SR, RxN stands for reaction, one element replaces the second element in a compound. So I write out my generic form of A, my single element, and then BC is my compound. Well, A is going to replace B to make a new compound, AC, plus B. Here's like my third wheel, finally makes his move. Here's my third wheel and the couple, and he's going to butt in and steal the person away. So let's put this into practice. If I'm given zinc metal, which is ZN solid, plus copper 2 nitrate, which is aqueous, what is it going to produce? Well, my zinc metal is going to pop out and switch out with my copper nitrate. So I'm then going to have zinc with my nitrate along with, so my zinc and my copper switch, and that then leaves my zinc by itself. Oops, copper by itself. my copper by itself. Then I go ahead and balance my reaction. Zinc was plus two, therefore nitrate has the two here. I have one zinc, one zinc, one copper, one copper, two nitrates, two nitrates, so my reaction is balanced. Go ahead and try the reaction. First, converting uh, names of compounds to their chemical formula, and then determining your products of bromine gas, reacting with sodium iodide, and what it's going to produce. Don't forget your diatomics. Next we have double replacement reactions, or DRRXN. Here we're going to exchange, or it's an exchange of two cations between two different compounds. Remember that your cations are your metals and they're always listed first. So my cation here, I have A, and a cation here, C. And they're in these compounds A, B, and C, D. Here my A and C are going to switch places, and my A is now going to be with my D, and my B with my C. These are like two couples at a dance, and they switch partners. So here I have A, B plus C, D yields A, D plus C, B. So let's put it into practice. If I have uh, sodium sulfide with cadmium uh, 2 nitrate reacting together, my cations is sodium and cadmium. So they're going to switch places. Sodium is now going to be paired with my nitrate. And then my cadmium is going to be paired with my sulfur. Then I go ahead and I balance my reaction. I have two sodiums here and one here, so I need to put a two in front. I have one sulfur here, one sulfur here, one cadmium here, one cadmium here, two nitrates here, and two nitrates here. So therefore, I am now balanced. Go ahead and try the writing the reaction of sodium cyanide plus dihydrogen sulfate reacts to form what? For your single replacement reaction, you should have got one bromine plus two sodium iodides yields two sodium bromides plus one iodides. Your double replacement reaction, you should have got two sodium cyanides plus one dihydrogen sulfate yields two hydrogen cyanides plus sodium sulfate. 